Hello, high school volleyball fans. Welcome to Kaleida High School's Division Three District Semifinal Action. We've got two on tab tonight, but in our first contest, it's Ottawa Glenville versus Coldwater. I'm Dave Bowen. Beside me, working tonight's match, is Star Neverball for WOSM Sports. We're excited to be here. Ada. Ottawa Glendor comes into tonight's contest with a record of 12 and 12 overall, 7 and 2 in the WBL, where they tied for second place with St. Mary's. Coldwater comes in as the number one seed and an overall record of 23 and 1, ranked number two in Division Three. They finished MAC action at 8 and 1 in a three-way tie with New Bremen and St. Henry. Our starters this evening. First for Ottawa Glandorf at the left front, it'll be Sienna Fry. In the middle front, it'll be Caitlin Kimmett. Right front, Marley Boldemeyer. In the back row, back left, it'll be number 14, Bailey Krause. Back middle, number 21, Katie Kaufman. And back right, number 15, Addie Bellman. The libero for Ottawa Glandorf is number 11, Claudia Mag. For Coldwater, your starters look like this. Left front, number seven, Kira Kanapke. Middle front, number 14, Madison Wendell. Right front, number 13, Spencer Etzler. The back row, left back, Mia Kanapke. Middle back, number six, Morgan Blasingame. And right back, number nine, Olivia Brory. The libero for Coldwater is number one, Rachel Schroyer. Dar, it matches up to be a great contest. What do you anticipate tonight from both of these squads? Well, we've seen a lot of Ottawa Glendorf play already. This season. You know, they come in at 12 and 12, but that's a little deceiving for an Ottawa Glendorf team because they've had their ups and downs throughout the season, and you know they've got some big hitters up front, Sienna Fry up front, and Kaufman Girl as well. You know, so they can really hammer it down up front. So about that. Coldwater, of course, coming in at 23 and 1. I think there were something like 66 and 11 in all their sets. So, you know, their only loss was New Bremen 3 to 2 contest and that one there. You know, but, you know, I you really, you don't want to overlook this Ottawa Glendorf team. The Lady Titans at year in and year out been a good volleyball program. You know, they brought it in again this year. They had some, like I said, some ups and downs. They played some really good teams on their schedule earlier on. And, uh, you know, that kind of got them to this place right here. And I expect a really good contest. If they can just hang with them, this Coldwater team through the first few sets, you know, the first set and, and stay with them right away, you know, it could be a long, we may be looking at five sets in this one here. <laughs> You're right. It might be a Donnie Brook. <laughs> and uh, I failed to mention our head coaches, the head coaches, or head coach for Ottawa Glenmore, Andrew Miller, the head coach for Coldwater, Nikki Etzel. But you're right. That non-league schedule for OG, Coldwater, they played them in the spike off, the second match of the season, and uh, fell 2-0. Two, two they played Fort Laramie. They played Lipsick. They played Marion Local. They played Crestview. They played St. Henry twice. So... It's going to be a Donnybrook. The only thing about that is Coldwater's played a lot of those schools as well. Came out on the winning edge, but here we go. And we started action with OG getting it over. Here comes the set for Coldwater. There's the hit by number 13 for Coldwater. That's Spencer Etzler, but OG comes with the block. Number 25 for Ottawa Glandorf, that's Caitlin Kimmett. She's second on the team with 34 blocks. Shows herself, her skills right there, Dar. Oh, Point absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and this OG Girls team really gets up at the net. And that's the big thing, too. They, you know, they rotate around. They're right there where they need to be to block the shots. They do. 14 for um, Coldwater. Madison Wendell comes away with the spike. She's the go-to girl for Coldwater. Leads that squad with 329 kills. Point for the Cavaliers. Spencer Etzler with the serve. Etzler's going to get an ace right there. And she leads this cold water squad with 62 aces on your second and serving percentage at 96. You take those aces any way you can get them, Don. Oh, absolutely. And that was that was a key one right there. 
if you get an ace on Bellman, you're really doing something out there because Addison Bellman for Ottawa Glandorf, 1,731 ball handling attempts where she only had 31 errors all season. So. Very impressive. Maybe a little bit of nervousness on OG side. The net, they'll settle down and lead it, though. But there's another one. Give Wendell three aces in a row, and I think Coach Cohen might be thinking about a timeout, but Rush is going to keep playing right now. Just talking to her girls, giving them some encouragement. You don't want to get behind at any time no, absolutely in not. district level action, uh, but you don't want to get don't want to get behind to this cold water squad. And they're really she's she's serving right in the same spot every time, and you know, OG finally made some adjustments to get to there. That one goes over the net. Here comes the hit by Coldwater. OG returns it. Nice left-handed spike there by number 25. Hey, you're going to call Sienna Fry. Yes, yeah, Sienna Fry. You're going to call Sienna's name a lot tonight, uh -huh. I'll tell you that. Free ball and over does OG. Coldwater with an opportunity. Great effort there, but Coldwater gets the spike. That's number 14, Madison Wendell. She's the go-to girl for Coldwater. As we said earlier, 329 kills coming into tonight's match. That keeps the serve with Spencer Atzler. Yeah, she's a 5'11 senior, too, so a leader on this Coldwater team. And that ball is in on the line, and we're going to have a timeout right now by OG down 6-1 on our structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard by Alts. We'll take a timeout as well. You're watching Tournament Action Volleyball Division Three style on WOSN. Kaleida High School Division Three District Semifinal Action. OG takes an early timeout down six to one. Dar, what do you think Coach Miller's talking to her team about? No, one thing is just settle down. We know we know what Coldwater's capable of. We know where she's hitting. They're hitting the ball. So we've got to make some adjustments. We've got to rotate over there and stop serving that in the middle of the way they are. But really, mainly, it's just calm down. We got a long way to go in this. And out of the timeout, OG gets a good swing at it, but it goes out of bounds off of the arm of Caitlin Kimmick. Good hit, just out of bounds. Coldwater gets the point. Etzler at the service line again. There's the pass, and they hit by number 32, Ella White for OG. Nice block, return though by Coldwater. Good dig right there to get it out for OG. Mm -hmm. And there's a spike by Coldwater's number four, Mia Kanaki. Not even in the top three for Coldwater in kills, but she gets away with one right there. Splits the seam on the block. Coldwater looking to run away and hide early here in set one. Etzler still serving up 8-1. Yeah, OG's really got to get something to stop this. Well, that's, that helps right there. You know, it's like a breath of fresh yes, air, it is. isn't it? certainly it, is. Uh -huh. Coldwater has had their foot on the throat a little bit there, but they open the door. Let's see if OG can take advantage of it. Number 24, Caitlin Kimmett, your server. Kimmett with the serve. Nice pass. And that goes out of bounds, no touch. Give OG the point. Good bump set spike from Coldwater. And number 14, Madison Wendell hits it long on the side. Kimmett with the serve again. Kimmett's got 49 aces coming into this, so. Goes long right there. Great decision by the libero for Coldwater, one Rachel Schroyer. Well, that's one thing, Dave, when it comes to volleyball is communication is so key. You know, you've got to be able to talk to each other and know exactly where that ball is going to be to tell somebody, let it go. Couldn't agree more. OG's going to free ball it over. Short set, the shoot. OG able to defend it. Nice shot at the top of the net. Coldwater comes right back, though. 
just the transition from defense to offense so effective as Morgan Blasingame gets the kill for the Cavaliers. Boy, I tell you, Dave, that was right on the line. And, of course, anything on the line counts. So, you know, that was a great spike on that one. So Madison Wendell with the serve. Nice recovery there by OG. They free ball it over. And it's out as number six, Morgan Blasingame, off the left side. OG gets the point and the serve. Number 25 for OG. Sienna Fry from behind the service line now. 10 to 4 on our structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Good serve there by Fry. Free ball over by Coldwater. OG takes advantage of it. They set up number 21, Katie Kaufman. She gets the kill. Kaufman third on the team as a middle hitter for OG with 109 kills. Nice job by the senior right there, Don. Oh, absolutely. And we talked about it, you know, OG, you cannot let them hang around. You know, Coldwater came out firing all cylinders, but OG's one of those teams that you want to put away early if you can. Yep. Blasen game with the hit. OG blocks it, but they got to turn it in. It goes out of bounds. So the point goes to Coldwater. And now number seven, Kira Kanapke behind the serving line for the Cavs. There's that communication situation right there for OG. Claudia Mag and Carly Coffis not on the same page. That's a tough situation. It's noisy in here as well. Great it is, crowd it is. for this oh, semifinal action. Tremendous crowd. And you're right, it is really loud in here. It holds the sound really well. Great, Great decision, ball. yes, by Addie Bellman. That ball floats out of bounds. With that out of bounds call, let's introduce our official sport tonight's contest. On the ladder, Michael Lucius at the net, Paul Offenbacher. Our line judges are Don Bryan and Larry Kaiser. Serving now for OG, Bailey Krauss. Free ball over for Coldwater. Oh. OG's able to take advantage of it and get a good hit, but Cat, Cat, Coldwater's also in the net, so point for OG as they're trying to claw their way back into this star. Oh, they absolutely are. And, and, you know, like I said, there's some big hitters up front for Ottawa Glandorf, and if you can get the, those sets perfectly along that line, they're going to hammer down. Yes, Bailey Krause with the ace. Cuts the lead to four on our Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Bailey Kraus with 36 aces coming into this contest. And you can see why. That's a nice low line drive serve that she had. Nice low line drive serve, but Coldwater bumps, sets, and Morgan Blasingame spikes it for the point. Nice job by Coldwater again. What's really neat is your premier programs, which these two teams are the transition from defense to offense. We've seen it already here for both squads early in set one. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's just a misplay right there. That's a tough break there for Otto Landorf. With the ace, Mia Kanapke. Kanapke with the serve again. Nice dig there by Kanapke off of Kaufman's hit for OG. Good job by Coldwater to recover. Mm -hmm. Number 10, Molly Baltimore gets the kill. There was a block in the net. We're going to have a conference between the officials. Rolled up on the tape and came back to Coldwater's side. Not quite sure what the discussion is about, but Paul Offenbacher works his way over to Michael Lucius. They're going to have an official powwow, if you will, yes. Garth. And sometimes, you know, the, the, one of the better players you have on your team, either team, is the net. And, you mm -hmm. know, if you can get it up there on that net like that and let it roll like that, that's a tough one to play out of there without actually touching the net itself. So, again, we talked about the tough schedule at non-league, especially the Ottawa Landor face. You know, Coldwater, they started off 11-0, and, and then they had that one loss to New Bremen. Uh, which uh, caused 
the Midwest Athletic Conference to be a tri-championship situation between New Bream and St. Henry and Coldwater. They are 12-0 since, and you referenced it in our pregame a little bit. They have only lost 11 sets all year all long. All year long. That's impressive. It certainly is. And, you know, you can see why. I mean, they, mm -hmm. they, they're a very disciplined team, well coached. You know, they rotate well. Uh, they got a couple of hammers up front that can literally knock it down for you. But, you know, they do a great job of just getting to the ball. That's the biggest thing, you know. And, and you saw it on that last one where they were able to get way back on deep in the, in, and still be able to volley it back over the net. You're exactly right, Dar. And then how did they get here to the district semis? Ottawa Glendorf, they defeated Bluffton 3-1 to one and Parkway 3-0. to zero. And Coldwater, as that number one seed, they decided not to take the bye. They played right away. They defeated Jefferson 3-0 to zero, and Paulding 3-0. to zero. Looks like we might have a rotation error or situation. That again, uh, Paul Offenbacher, sure. now he's talking about lineups at the table with both of scores from the respective teams. Your home team is what the official score would be in a regular season match, but at tournament time, you actually hire someone, the host site does, to be the official book that is a neutral participant. And it might be, did somebody rotate out of position where they're supposed to be on that last one? But long discussion about it. I mean, surprise it's taking this long. So again, great volleyball. Addie Bellman, the setter who we've seen be very effective for OG already, number 15. She has 665 assists this year. As a sophomore, she already is over the 1,000 career assist mark. That is incredible. Coming into this match, the highest number of assists for any other player on this OG Lady Titan squad was 16. So yeah. <laughs> she's your go-to. She's absolutely your go-to. I mean, if you look down the OG, you know, Roster, there's a lot of young players on this OG team, so they got a lot to look forward to in the next couple of years. There's a lot of freshmen, a couple of sophomores. You know, they do have some senior leadership, but a lot of young players out there. Mia Kanapke, the setter for Coldwater, sets up her teammate, and they get a spike. They're going to call number 15 in the net. And I tell you what, Dave, that could be a turning point for this OG team right here. This is a game of momentum, and it's also, you know, it can switch at any time. Couldn't it's agree with you more. Volleyball, one of the most momentum-related sports you'll see at the high school level. Here come the Titans. But there's that communication yep. situation right there. Marley Baltimore dug that one out, but no one went after it. And as a result, it falls helplessly to the floor if you're an OG fan. Coldwater with the serve. And that goes out of bounds, but it was touched. Nope, yeah, you're saying it was touched. Yep, there was a touch in the back row. Coach Miller questioning the call. She's going to have her captain, Ann Libero, number 11, Claudia Mag, go talk to the lead official. And they are going to stay with the, the touch, which I believe was a good call. I thought I, I saw so that from too, here yeah. as well. Good try, though. If you want to ask and make sure everybody's on the same page. So it's serving for Coldwater. Morgan Watson game, but that goes long. So again, it was 8-1 to one when OG took a timeout. They had fought their way back into this match to only trail by four. Let's see if they can keep digging here. And that's, you want to serve the ball hard. You want to make it a, a defensive play for the opponent, but you got to get it in. Yeah, and you, in that situation, it didn't happen. Now, you, you want to serve it, and you want to serve it just barely clearing that net with a downward spiral on it. And that way you can get it at least to the back row, but not out. So serving for Coldwater now, Rachel Schroyer. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor. We're going to take one as well. Again, it's district semifinal action, high school volleyball style on WOSN.
School Volleyball District Semifinal Action. Our spike sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima Wapak Duffels in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. OG comes out of the timeout with a good spike, but cold water recovers. OG does the same. They go to number 10 here with the spike. That's none other than Marley Boldemeyer, but here comes Coldwater again, and it's out of bounds. And this OG crowd and student section, they are rooting on their teammates and their, their team. Kept the lead to four. Why do you think Coach Miller took that time out down 16 to 11, Doc? Well, I think she just wanted to tell them, you know, you know, okay, we're making a nice comeback here. You know, let's keep our heads. You know, let's not get too excited about it. You know, we still got work to do here. Good timeout, but she is out of timeouts now for the rest of this particular set. See how the girls respond on this one. Nice hit there by Kimmett. Returned by Coldwater. Kimmett again. That's Sienna Fry, my mistake. That's Sienna Fry with the hit. She's got that big left hand. Yes. And the pink shoes I'll need to stay you. on top of that, Dark. I'll tell you what, Dave, when she gets up in the air and gets that little house going, you know, it's, it's no way you're going to be able to stop that. Yeah, she is the go-to girl talking to Coach Miller before the match. She said we need to go to her early and often. Oh, good dig. Yes, great dig there by Addie Bellman. But Coldwater comes right back. Madison Wendell, the go-to girl for Coldwater with the spike. Pushes that lead back to four. Spencer Etzler behind the line for Coldwater. This is where they made their run early with Etzler behind the serving line. Let's see if OG can bring the defense right away. Etzler with the hit. Bump, set, and spike by number 32, Ella White. Ella White is a freshman, one of the most improved players on this OG squad. Started the year on JV. Now she's finding herself in quality time in oh, district yeah. semifinal action, Dark. A six-foot player, too, so you know you want her on that front line. Kaylin Kimmett with the serve. Coldwater with the hit. Bellman with the set. And then number 14, that's Madison Wendell with the spike. Get a good spike there, right there on that line on the left side. So, you know, Coldwater's doing a great job of playing the lines. And there it is right there, an ace for Madison Wendell. She is third on this Coldwater squad with 39 aces this year. That one stems the tide a little bit. Momentum coming back to Coldwater's side of the net. OG's got it have themselves a good possession here. And unfortunately, they don't get it over the net. The set itself is a little bit short, not able to get up, you know, she went up to spike it, but, you know, right into the net because it really wasn't high enough to get it over. Yeah, Addie Bellman tried to do what she could with it, but unfortunately, they gave away the point. But Wendell gives it away a point right there, serving into the net. OG down five on our structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard. And with the serve, Sienna Fry. Yeah, OG needs to string together more than just one or two points in a row right now. Correct. They got to go two for one in order to get back into this, or three for one. You're right, Dar. Blazing game with the spike, but a great block. It looks like that was number 15, Addie Bellman. She sets, she blocks. She does it all. Mm -hmm. And Sienna Fry in the back row, the big hitter. You need your other players to step up right now. OG does for that point right, right there. Sienna Fry with the serve. That's her with the hit. Then it goes to Bellman, and they're going to get the change up, yep. not a spike right there, change up, and that catches the OG de defense out of position, point for Coldwater. And that's a great offensive play right there because a lot of times you're expecting that spike, you know, but if you see an opening, you know, we just have to lay it in there, just find that opening. And there's an ace for number seven for Coldwater. That's Kiera, Kiera Kanapke. Here, Kanapke behind the service line, number four, Mia Kanapke. The setters had a great game here in set one. There's Kira with the 
save. OG comes with the hit, and they get the point. Nice job by OG. Again, that transition from defense to offense. They do it very effectively. They cut the lead to five here in set number one. That was a great set on that one, too, because it caught Kaufman, you know, kind of in a position, but in a position that she could really hammer it down to the right and to the left side. OG with the serve. Kanapke goes straight over with it on the second hit. Allows OG to get a spike. Touch at the net, and then they come back. Blossom game again. She's had a heck of a first set here for Coldwater. Pushes the lead to six. Yeah, just a junior at five foot 11, and she's had 278 kills, 45 aces, 221 digs, and 46 blocks for Blossom game this season. Mia Kanapke with the serve. Comes up to set. Goes to Etzler on the left side. Etzler taps it over. From the back row, Sienna Fry touch at the net. Point for OG. She is so strong. That's, that's her key right there. She's so strong. And not only is she tall, but she gets elevation. And that's the biggest thing. And she's only a sophomore. And only a sophomore. That's what's really impressive. Coach Miller, as you said, a young team. She's got them lined up, and they're playing tough. There's no tomorrow right now. Let's keep digging and see what we can do. But that serve goes out of bounds. So it's set point for Coldwater. Morgan Blossom game behind the serving line. Nice hit there by Kimmett. Spencer Etzler on the cold water side of the net with a nice hit. And then they got to get it over there. They do. The libero. A lot of action, but you give the point to OG as Marley Baltimore hits one right down by the 10 foot line, catches the hard one there. That was a perfect set, too. I mean, right straight up in the air. You know, plenty of elevation for Buttermeyer to come down on it. There's nothing you can do when she's coming down from that high up. Now serving for OG, Addy Bellman. But before we get to that, Coldwater's going to take a timeout. We'll take one as well. It's high school district semifinal action, volleyball style on WOSN. Water takes that timeout, leading 24-19 in set one. Coach Etzler just wanting to make sure her girls are on the same page with her. Our spike sponsor for tonight's match is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. And it's a good timeout because OG serves it out of bounds. Our first set goes to the Cavaliers, 25-19. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Welcome back to Kaleida High School. It's District 3, District 3 semifinal volleyball action between Ottawa Glendorf and Coldwater. Coldwater takes our first set 25-19 in set number one. Coach Amber Miller's Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans, they had seven kills, two aces, six assists. Sienna Fry led the way and she was definitely observable out there, Dar, with three kills. Bailey Kraus and Addie Bellman both had an ace, and then the setter, Addie Bellman, she had six assists. For Coldwater in set one, Coach Nikki Etzler's squad, they had 11 kills, nine aces, and 11 assists. Morgan Blasengame and Madison Wendell uh, led the way in kills with five and four, respectively. Spencer Etzler had those four aces early on, and then Mia Kanapke had 10 assists. Dar, as we head into set number two, what should we be looking for? Well, one number that jumps out at you is the nine aces by, uh, you know, Coldwater. And, and Otto Glendorf's got to sew that up somehow. they got to, you know, 
they've got to slow up the middle and not allow those kind of uh, aces to come along. But you know, the big thing for Ottawa Glendorf is okay, you lost that one, but keep your head in the game. You know, this like we talked about, this is a game of momentum, and if you can get you know the momentum on your side, which they weren't able to really do in that first set. You know, they came back and fought hard, but they weren't able to get over the hump. And if they can do that in the second set, get out to a little bit of a lead, you know, like I said, we could be looking for a long day here, you know, but that's the key for Ottawa Glendor. Cold water is, they, they're smelling it right now. They're, they're getting aggressive. They want to they want to put this away early, you know, and move on. Abby Bellman starts the set number two with the serve. Kanapke goes to Spencer Etzler and she gets the kill. Absolute third on the team for Coldwater with 252 kills coming into today's match. You're right, OG needs a better start than the eight to one, the way the first uh, set started. And then they fought back, but you just don't want to fall down that far behind this Coldwater Cab team. Give yourself a chance. No, you, take, you use too, uh, too much energy trying to come back from that. One of the things for Coldwater, if you watch them, you know, is they're just great at setting at the net. You know, they, they do a, a wonderful job of just, you know, getting their spikers open and setting it right there where they can come down hard on it. There's Fry with the kill, talking about a good set and a good kill. Ottawa Glendor gets it right there, Dar. So good, good comeback after the 2-0 start by Coldwater, and it was a a really good set by Addy Bellman, and as we've seen uh, from set one, uh, Sienna Fry knew what to do with it. And the other thing too is Sienna Fry comes down with that left hand, and that's a, a little bit misleading for you if you're on the other side and you're used to right-handed spikers. And that kill goes out of bounds, so OG ties things up. So a much better start already here in set two. And you're right about that left hand again. Being a longtime basketball coach, a left-hander, we always would say, push him right, push him right. <laughs> well, it's the same thing. It just looks different, and you don't prepare for that all the time. And uh, OG's been able to take advantage of it in Sienna Fry. Nice dig there by Addie Bellman. OG gets it back over. Kanapke with the set. Etzler with the hit. Another dig by Bellman. Libero with the bump set. That's Claudia Mag, and it's still going back and forth. Here comes Fry, nice hit from the left side, good block by Coldwater. And it's the changeup, the changeup by Madison Wendell. She's a big hitter in her own right, but she saw the open area, Dar took advantage of it. Yeah, but, you know, give OG credit on that one too, because they're, they're at least having some longer volleys, and, you know, they're not getting burnt right off the bat. You know, they're able to keep the ball alive, and both teams are doing a great job of keeping it alive. You know, long volleys. I got to bring that one down. But uh, Ella White with the long hit right there. Give the point to Coldwater. But yeah, long volleys, I think, favor OG. Anytime you can keep that thing alive and not let Coldwater get on that run, as we saw in the first set, make them earn every point. You can do nothing but help you. So here we go again. Going to go right back to White. This time she get, takes a little off of it, gets it in. Kanapke with the set. And they're going to call that out. That set was to Kira Kanapke. So OG gets the point. Down one on the structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard. But again, David, as it was in the first set, OG needs to string together more than one or two points at a time. As you said, then get a lead here. Put a little pressure on Coldwater. But right there, give the kill to Madison Wendell from the middle. And when she can hit it from there, the defense is at a disadvantage because she can go left, right, middle, picks her poison, and uh, picks up the point. Now serving for the Cavs, Madison Wendell. Nice dig there. A touch at the net. Coach Miller thought that since it was the second hit, they touched it illegally on her side of the net. But Coldwater's going to get the point. Three-point lead right here. OG's got to stiffen up. Oh, they definitely, absolutely have to. They can't let uh, Coldwater get out to a big lead again. Going to go to Good Sienna block. Fry. Yep, great block by Coldwater right there. one arm bandit, but the free ball over. And this
If you're an OG fan, great block off of the overpass. OG comes away with the point. Oh, absolutely. And you get, that'll And that narrows the lead back on the structure Ohio structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard to one. Here's a chance again for OG to even things up. Sienna Fry behind the serving line. And this is the play they As a result, she gets the touch. OG gets the point. We're knotted up at six, and it's getting loud and ruckus in here, Darn. Well, like I said, with Fry doing the serving right now and off of that front line, Katie Kaufman's really. There's the serve. Athletic play as she spiked that from the ball coming from the back row up to her. Does a great job to. Stem the tide a little bit. That was a real athletic move. It certainly was, and that was a tough one to, you know, because that was right on the line. You know, you, you, do you play it? Do you not play it? Mm -hmm. they, OG elected not to, and it hit right on the line. Here, Kanapke with oh, the good serve. dig. Yeah, great dig by Claudia Mack for OG. They get a hit out of it, but Coldwater digs it out. There's Blossom game again from the middle. No block at the net for OG, and as a result, Coldwater finds the hardwood off of Blossom Games kill. They go up two on our Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Keep the serve with Kira Kanapke for Coldwater. Again, it's coming down to the setting uh, that Coldwater's been able to do at the net to get their big spikers to be able to be in position. Free ball for OG. They come right back to Kimmett. Coldwater with great defense. Kanapke with the set. Blossom game with another kill. She led the way in set number one for Coldwater with five, picking off where she picking up where she left off. Mia nine to six. Mia Kanapke, just a sophomore, five nine. She's got seven hundred and ninety-two assists coming into this. And you can see why, because boy, she is quite the setter on, on that front line. You're right. We said that about Bellman for OG and all of her assists. Kanapke, 792, as you said. 42 the next highest for anyone on this cold water squad. So you're right. She's running the show as a sophomore from that setter position. Very athletic. I've watched her move uh, to get in position, and she's done an outstanding job. And then she sets her teammates up so effectively. And she's, you know, smart. I mean, she, you know, the way she's playing, you know, she's, like you said, Dave, she's running that offense right now for cold water. Watson game with a great decision. Kanapke's set was a little close to the net, decided she couldn't wham it, so she tapped it over where nobody was. A big point for Coldwater. Back up by three, 10 to seven. With the serve, oh, Mia Kanapke, and she's gonna get the ace. Uncharacteristic, unforced error there by Ronald Landor. And as you said, going into set two, that's an area they needed to improve to be super competitive. Right now, the free point helps Coldwater out. Here comes OG, but it's blocked at the net. Kimmett's spike is blocked. Coldwater puts a wall up on that one. That was Blossom Game and M. Marie Young. Don't know which one got it for sure, but the ball falls helplessly on OG's side of the net. Coldwater with the serve. It's a bump set, going to go to the sophomore, number 10, Molly Baltimore. But again, a block by Coldwater. Blasting and, game again. And Coach Miller decides to take a timeout. Great call on her part, a 3-0 run right here by Coldwater. And we'll take a timeout as well. It is. It's great semifinal action here, Division Three style, on WOSN.
Welcome back to Kaleida High School in Division III District Semifinal Action. Our set sponsors, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And Dar, I'll tell you, anytime that I'm in America's friendliest city, Delphus, Ohio, I'm thinking Lee's yeah, Famous there, Recipe you're Chicken. You're absolutely right. And don't forget the sweet tea while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> Kanapke with the serve. Nice spike attempt, but again, Coldwater's put a wall up there. Blossom game with the block. They push it over on two. Great decision by Mia Kanapke. And she couldn't get a set on it, so she punched it over with a close fist. And the timeout for OG doesn't prove to be effective as Coldwater gets a point right away. Looking to put set two away a little bit or distance themselves. OG's got to dig in. That's one good way to do it. I believe they got the point there. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, Coldwater's playing a very smart game right now. I mean, they're doing very well as far as, you know, those spiking it, mixing the spike up with the tap overs. I mean, they, they're doing everything they can to win this set right now. Katie Coppin got the kill there. Claudia Mag with the serve. And Spencer Epsler with the spike for the Cavaliers. Again, to get that's the one point. of those tough ones right there, Dave, because that one probably would have gone out, but you really don't know, especially the way that Coldwater has been able to hit the lines in that back line. So. And that's one of the ways the game of volleyball has changed. I think it, when in doubt, you go after it a lot more now. Right. Uh, a lot of times, uh, just from a coaching perspective, you, you want to take the decision uh, out of your players' hands and also out of the officials' hands. Let's be aggressive. If, if you're not sure, go ahead and hit it. Uh, and obviously, when you're behind, you got to protect those lines even more. The court gets bigger for your opponent. Um, and that's the situation we're seeing right now for OG. So here comes Coldwater out of the serve. Etzler with the change up. OG does a nice job of uh, saving it. Free balls it over. Kanapke with the short set. Etzler with the hit. That's a tough situation if you're OG. You've got Wendell coming first. Etzler right behind her. Which one do you try and block? Well, you usually go with the first one, and that's was who Kanapke decided to set it to. She finds a point for yeah. her team, the Cavaliers. A great decoy there by uh, Coldwater. Absolutely, yes. Rachel Schroyer. Yep, Rachel Schroyer with the serve. And the dig off of the spike by Boltemeyer. Going to go to Sienna Fry, and that's a good decision. OG gets the point. Coldwater's brought a nice crowd, but OG, you know, Kaleida, that's next door. Yeah. And they have shown up like it is next door. Great crowd for both teams, but the OG student section, they always have a great student section, and they have traveled here tonight. OG for is one of those schools action. that travels really well anywhere mm -hmm. they go. Kanapke with the set again. Goes to Wendell. She digs it out off the block. Nicely done by OG. And then they set... I believe that was number four who got now. 14 that, maybe? Yeah, I think maybe Etzler hit that one. Trying to stay up on all this action, Dar. That's tough to do. We got a lot of action going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, these girls are really all over the court. So Spencer Etzler on the serve, up seven. Nice dig there by Carly Kaufus. And they get the point. If you can set Sienna Fry on that side of the, you know, and let her swing away on that left hand of hers, I don't know anybody can stop that thing down. I'm, not, I'm sure I wouldn't want to be on the other side <laughs> yeah. of that net for sure. Yep, the 6-1 sophomore when she gets a nice set from Bellman, and Bellman gets a nice pass from the back row. OG very, very effective. Here we go with the serve from Caitlin Kimmett. Nice bump set and spike, but touch at the net, which allows OG to defend it. Good hit oh. by Ella White, but a better block by Coldwater. And I believe that was Mia Kanapke with the block. When you have setters that are tall and can do multiple things for you, it just makes you that much more effective. Oh, it certainly does. And you look at the squad there, 5'8", 5'11", 5'8". You see a lot of tall girls on both sides. Wendell serves sails right of the out of bounds line, so the point goes to OG on our Structure Ohio scoreboard. 
Sienna Fry in the back row now on the serving line, down six. Good serve. Coldwater's got a free ball at over. Nicely done right there. Addie Bellman with the set and Ella White with the kill. This is where and they did well last time when they had Fry back there serving that Kaufman and Ella White up front. Yeah, and you'd think that'd be a little contradictory yeah, because, because of the way she plays. Yeah, you want but, Sienna Fry in the front row, but you're right. Her serve has put Coldwater on their heels a little bit, and OG has been able to take advantage of it. There's another one again where Coldwater's got a free ball it over. Here we go. Bump, set, and Kimmett oh, with the left-handed left spike. Oh. Katie Kaufman right there does a nice job of finding the wood in the left corner. I think that caught Coldwater off guard there a little bit, too, because they expected her to go to the right side, and she just kind of slapped it back the other way. Sienna Fry again with the serve. Wants to keep Coldwater on a defensive posture, but Kanapke gets a good set from the libero. Nicely dug out by OG, and we're going to have a situation where they look under the net and across the line. So just like set one, OG's coming back. They're down three. Coach Nikki Etzler, she's going to take a T.O. for her Coldwater Cavaliers. We'll take one as well. High school volleyball on WOSN. It's Ottawa Glendorf, it's Coldwater, it's Division Three semifinal volleyball, set number two. Coach Etzler calls a timeout. Dar, what, what do you think she was sharing with her team at that time? Well, she basically was telling her team, you know, we are still up, you know, just not forget that. We just got to break this little momentum run that uh, Ottawa Glendorf is going right now, but we're not going to play anything different than we've been playing. We've been very effective with what we're doing. A 3-0 run by OG right now. And there's another point. Blas and Games kill goes into the block of number 32, Ella White. And she stuff blocks that, cuts the lead to two. Now, like you said, Dave, she's the most improved player according to the OG coaching staff. And that's what you see right there and what she's able to do. Sienna Fry with the serve. This time it's Katie Kaufman, the overpass. She does what you want to do with it if you're an OG Lady Titan fan. She stuff blocks it. And we've got ourselves a Donnie Brook in set number two, one point lead for Coldwater. And Kaufman does a great job of just getting up high and not touching the top of the net when she just dumps that over. Kanapke with the bump set. Wazagain hits it over easily. The bump set from Marty Boldemeyer, and this time Coldwater has a block of their own at the net. Some severe blockage going on tonight. Morgan Blossom game this time puts the lead back to two on the structure. Outdoor Ohio scoreboard, 1917 Coldwater. Kira Kanapke, your server. It's a lot of great play right at the net. OG gets it over. Coldwater comes right back. That one goes off of the block at Katie Kaufman. Nice hit there. I believe that is, I can't quite pick up that number on that one. I'll try and get it to you here in a second. So Coldwater retains the serve. Looks like oh. it's going to be a nice recovery. It is off of the spike of Katie Kaufman. There's Ella White again. There's a lot of action at the net. Kanapke with the set going to Blossom game. And it's a block. OG gets the point. Katie Kaufman again. Yeah, and that was Olivia Boring who had that hit earlier in that volley for, uh, for the point before for Coldwater. Now going back behind the serving line for OG, Bailey Krause. Two Set. point lead for Coldwater. 36 aces for her coming into this contest. So she's the girl that you want back here to yeah. serve. Coach Miller would take an ace right now. Kanapke with the set goes to Blossom game. She goes soft. Bump set. Doesn't work out for OG on that particular situation. Marley Baltimore did what she could with it. 
got up too close to the net. Or excuse me, Claudia Mag and Marley Boldemeyer wasn't able to get it over. There's an overpass, but it's in on the line. Coldwater gets the point to go back up four. So Coach Miller's going to take a timeout. Her squad fought their way back into this, cut it to one, 18 to 17. But unfortunately, Coldwater does what a team that's 23 and one should do. They got their cell phone out and they answered. Dog. They certainly did. You, and again, another uh, you know thing for OGs is have to keep fighting back and fighting back. That takes a lot of energy out of you. Coldwater just playing a great game right now. A lot of action at the net. Coldwater's been able to block a lot of shots, you know, and they've been able to set their big girls up front just so effectively. And you know, OG's not that they're you know they're doing a good thing, job up front too. But you know, you, when you get down behind, you know, the way they've been getting down these two first two sets, that's a lot of energy you got to use to just start to get back into the match. And they have fought their way back, but you're right. Coldwater has made the answer, and right now that's a great timeout, in my opinion, by Coach Miller. Try and stem the tide here. Talk to your girls about, okay, let's stay with what we do and who we are. Let's get a good pass up to um, Bellman, and let's get a good spike. Let's see what we got. There's the pass to Bellman. Going to go to Baltimore. And she does exactly what you want coming out of the timeout. She gets the kill. Cuts the lead to three on the Structure Ohio, Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. I think that's the first kill of, you know, Spike that uh, Budmeyer's had today. There's a nice serve by Claudia Mag. Give her the ace. The ball hit the candy cane. That means it's out. So we're back to two. Let's see what OG can do here. Nice job by Schroyer to Kanapke to Etzler. Etzler hits it over. Here comes OG. A nice block at the net by Paige Ontrop for Coldwater. They just bring him on and oh, wave. They do. They do. And, it, and like I said, each one of them playing a great job of just blocking at the net. You know, their spiking game has been outstanding in the first two sets, but their, their blocking up front has really hurt OG. Blossom game with the serve, but Caitlin Kimmett with the spike. It's got to happen now if you're an OG Lady Titan fan. Yeah, you've got you've got to get your points now. I mean, you can't give it back to Coldwater at this stage. Addie Bellman with the serve. Troyer to Kanapke to Etzler. Sounds like a law, law firm, but in that situation, Coldwater takes the point. Schroeder to Kanapke to Etzler, and now they are at set point here in set number two. Up one to zero. Rachel Schroeder with the serve. The libero for Coldwater. Nice spike there by Sienna Fry. Coldwater returns it. Come back to Fry on the left side, but she sails it, just couldn't get her footwork down nope, the way she good. wanted, Dar. As a result, Coldwater picks up the victory in set number two, 25 to 21. Coldwater leads two to zero on the Structure Ohio, Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. We'll be back with set number three on WOSN. It's district semifinal action, Division Three style. Ottawa Glendorf versus the number two team in Division Three, the number one seed in the Kaleida District, Coldwater. Coldwater leads two to zero. Some quick stats from set number two for Ottawa Glendorf. They had 11 kills in set number two, led by Katie Kaufman with four. Sienna Fry had three. They had one ace from Claudia Mag and then Addie Bellman had 11 assists for Coldwater in set number two. 
They had the 13 kills led by Spencer Etzler with six. Morgan Blasingame continued her strong game at the net with four. Only two aces in set number two compared to nine from set number one. And then Mia Kanapke had 11 assists in set number two. So thoughts going into set number three, Dar? Well, one of the things that jumps out at you is the fact that Otto Gladenroff only had one ace in set number two, and they've got to get more of that. They can't let Coldwater play, continue to play the ball the way they've been able to play the ball. They've got to get a couple of aces, put them on their heels, and they haven't been able to do that yet. They've, they've called their way back into these matches, you know, in these sets, but they really have not been able to go over the hump, you know, and take a lead, and that's a big thing right there. They've got to get over that hump and take a lead. And, and the aces are one of the ways to do that, you know, and they just have not been able to get rack them up. Yeah, Coldwater only had two aces in set number two, but they had nine in the first set, and they really didn't have to have the aces. I mean, they were able to play it and dig it out and, and block it and do all the things they needed to do. And here we go with set number three. Couldn't agree with you more. And Spencer Etzler with the stuff block at the net picks up the point for Coldwater, but you mentioned it right there. Otto Glendorf has looked at the top of the mountain as far as tying or trying to go ahead but they haven't made it there they've got to find a way to get a lead here and put some pressure on cold water in this third set and maybe get big mo on their side of the net right there a service air ties things up at one on our structure outdoor ohio scoreboard let's see if og can put on a little run here early i always like to say you can never win a game early but you can lose a, a game early but right now, if OG could get a lead, that would very help them very, very much. Kanapke with the set, goes to Etzler. She's been whamming it all match, and she's gonna get a kill as OG is unable to return it. A short set doesn't work out between Bellman and Kimmett. The big thing, like we said, Dave, is the fact that, you know, it's not so much, you know, can I get a lead earlier on? Yeah, if you get that leader on, you force Coldwater to play defense more. And right now, Coldwater doesn't have to play. They, they have the lead in both sets, and they're just going to attack and attack and attack. You know, you got to get them on their heels a little bit and make them play defense. Great dig by Addy Bellman, but it goes long. But great observation, Dar. Coldwater's just playing free and loose, and it just seems like OG's got to fight back, fight back, fight back. Uh, and right now they're down three to one. They they got to stem the tide right here uh, early on to help themselves. Etzler with the serve. Claudia Mag has to work at free ball, and she's all over the court. Yes, is, is Claudia Mag? And Wendell's going to be called for a double hit. Claudia Mag in the back row comes flying into the front row. You know, I'm a Chevy guy, darling, but Claudia <laughs> Mag, she is built for tough. And yes, she is. And that's what they need. They need to get aggressive like that. They got they got to fight for every point they're getting in this thing. And, you know, that's the way to do it. You got to go for lo every loose ball. It's like basketball. You got to go for the loose balls if you want to win this thing. Caitlin Kimmett going to be our server as Coach Etzer from Coldwater has a question with our down official Paul Offenbacher as Wendell has called for a double hit right there. It's been a clean match. Um, haven't had many double hits or anything of that nature. Officiated very well. Here we go. Three to two. Coldwater lead. Going to Wendell. She comes across. Eight ball corner pocket. Hits it hard. Addie Bellman tries to do what she can with it. But you give the kill to Wendell. Wendell, a great softball pitcher oh, yeah. for Coldwater as well. And you can see that wind up right there. Hit that one with a lot of velocity. And she's behind the service line right now. And like I said, the big thing is, like, like I said, Dave, Coldwater's playing very loose. You know, they got everything going their way. And they can feel it. Great dig by Carly Crawford. And that one's in for OG. Here they are again, peaking at the top of the mountain. We've seen them be very effective in this rotation with Sienna Fry serving. They're not down four or five when she's going back there. They're only down one. Maybe they can make a run right now. And maybe they can get over that hump and get the lead. Fry to Etzler to Kanapke to Blasing game. Back over on the OG side of the net. It's a two ball oh spike from 
Dahlman to Fry, free ball it back over, does Coldwater, and the whole student section from OG was helping the team out, yelling, that's out, it's the right call. We're tied up at fours on the structure, Outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. Sienna Fry keeps the serve. Well, this is a good rotation for OG for another reason, too, is because Fry has the capability of hitting hard from that back row. And we're gonna have to take it over easy, Etzler does exactly that. It's a good hit for Ella White, the freshman, brings all six feet to that spike, and OG takes the lead. You always want to be the first one to five in a set, then the first one to ten. OG is the at the top of the OG, mountain, yes. OG's had all day. Mm-hmm. And it's this rotation, as you commented on earlier, and I backed you up with it. It's been very effective for OG, and they're in the net. Kanapke tried to dig it out, but she's in the net. Momentum clearly on the side of the Lady Titans. Pretty Fry's got that high. Watch her on the serve. She gets, it, gets up in good elevation, spikes it down, even from back there. Yeah. But was able to spike it from that back row, and that's key for her. Yeah, she's been very effective back there from the service line. We talked about it earlier. You put one in the net, it's like a breath of fresh air for the opponent. In that situation, let's see if Coldwater takes advantage of it now. Down one. Kira Kanapke with the serve goes right at Fry. Fry to Bellman to White. And Coldwater's in the net. So OG gets the point. Substitution as Marley Baltimore comes in. And that's a good sign there for OG too, because they were able to stop, you know, cold water, which they haven't been able to do, you know, all game. Great point. Schroyer to Kanapke to Blasing game. Bump set and spike. Coldwater executes the fundamentals to perfection right there. OG needs to answer. Mia Kanapke, the setter for Coldwater behind the service line. Nicely done right Good there. Dig out, though. Yep, Baltimore with the hit. And as a result, Coldwater unable to return it. So OG right now, they are answering point for point up to the libero, Claudia Mack behind the service line. Goes to Schroyer, to Kanapke, to Blasing game. She hits it long. She's been very effective with kills this evening, but sails that one. OG increases the lead to three again. 500 squad, 12 and 12, taking on the 23 and 1 Coldwater Cavaliers. Kanapke to Etzler. Spencer says, set me up, Mia, and she does. Again on that end line, and that's been very effective for Coldwater all day. Morgan Blasing game behind the service line. OG again, see if they can switch. Or Transition from defense to offense. Kimmett with the ball over, comes the other way. That's a nice dig by Fry. Touch at the net, lets Coldwater set oh, it up. Good block up front. Nice block by OG. It's fast and furious action now. Good try by OG. Bellman couldn't get to it. And Baltimore tried to get there to help her set it out, unable to do so. Coldwater cuts the lead to one. Blossom game with the serve. Good oh, a heck of a serve. I thought it was going to be in the net. A line drive nicely dug out by OG. They hit it over, but Coldwater returns it. The free ball. Troyer goes to Baltimore, but Baltimore unable to get it over the net. We're tied up. Coach Miller, I don't think you want to use a timeout here, but momentum has switched to the Cavaliers' side of the net. Coldwater didn't, didn't panic when they were down. They yep. just kept playing their game the way they have been for the first two sets. Blasingame had the line drive serve on the previous point. That one a little higher, but just as hard, and it sails long as a result. 
OG with the serve. And that one goes long off of the arm of Addie Bellman. Well, we talked about it with this OG team. You, you can't let them hang around and hang around. And I think Coldwater knows that at this mm -hmm. stage. You know, they came into this set here, and OG's been fighting back, and he actually took the lead on them. So, you know, they, they realize that we have to put these guys away. We can't go to another set. Couldn't agree with you more. Here we go again. Sure, uh, excuse me. Mag and OG, they free ball it over. Spencer Etzler makes the read, goes with the change up and finds the wood right front. Again, Claudia Mag did what she could to get there, anticipated it, but just a little late, unable to dig that one out. Rachel Schroyer with the serve for Coldwater. Claudia Mag digs it out. Bellman. Bellman to Fry. They have to free ball it back over. Going to Fry again. And this time they're not going to find that one. It's Coldwater. And we're tied back up at Uno's 11s across the board for, for a match that's 2-0. Yeah. It, it, it's really exciting, Don. It is, it is. And, and right now, you know, if OG can string together again, you know, three or four points and get themselves out there, you know, and put cold water back on their heels again. Carly Croft is with the serve. Kanapke goes to Etzler. It's blocked, but unfortunately, Kimmett and White unable to turn it in. It goes out of bounds. Coldwater gets the point and takes the lead on the structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Spencer Etzler behind the service line. Oh, great serve. Great serve dug out by Carly Crawfus. White with the spike. We go to Kanapke. And OG's got a free ball it over. Kanapke with a chance to set another Kanapke. And 24 and 25 for OG. That's Kimmett and Fry. They are at the net. Fry again. A block, third on the block, a team in blocks with 32. Kimmett second with 34. That's a tough one to get through with oh, those two. It. Yeah, there's no place to go. Nicely done by Schroyer, digging out that serve that hits the tape. OG with the bump set to White. She hits it over. Nicely done. Kira Kanapke on that one says, I'm going through it this time. And she does so successfully. Blasts that one through the block of OG. Coldwater up one on the structure Ohio. Ohio scoreboard 13 to 12. Coldwater just has so many heavy hitters up front there, no matter what the rotation is. A luxury of riches at the kill line for Coldwater. And right there, the setter won. Mia Kanapke says, I'm going to take one my, on my own. And she hits it over early. And that, that's so effective when you go over on two, when the opponent has started to find a rhythm in defending you on three hits. OG just wasn't ready for that spike to come over on the second hit. That's going to be an ace for Wendell. Again, third on the team and serving with 39 aces. And finding themselves down three, OG is going to take a timeout. A great call by Coach Miller. Pivotal part of the set here right now, Dark. Oh, it absolutely is. And, you know, OG's just got to find a way to stop this cool water team up front and that's the biggest thing you know and when you have your like i said you have your setter hitting spikes like that you know that's tough to do because you know you don't know who you're going to play up the front you know you're going to block this this person up front well somebody else up front is going to take it away from you too so og was making a nice little run there but then really again in this set same thing as the first two sets can't seem to get a big enough run i mean they get you know they took the lead first time you know but then went out a couple points but really not able to put a big enough cushion to stop this cold water team. And that's a, that's been a key for them all games, you know, all season long. You know, they're 12 and 12, but you, they've seen that all season long, where they've really not been able to get 
over the hump against some of these teams. And, and OG is giving a great effort. You just have to credit Coldwater being the, the championship caliber team that they are, being able to handle these runs that OG keeps coming at them with. Yeah, they don't panic. They don't have to panic, but they don't panic at all. Sienna Fry from the back row, eight ball corner pocket. OG with the point. Great timeout by Coach Miller to stem the tide. And here we are with OG with Sienna Fry serving. This has been their best rotation all night long. But instead of being even or head, they find themselves down two. They've got to work hard here to get even and get some points out of this rotation. That was a great serve, somewhat uh, a block at the net, but they're gonna set Fry up in the back row and she gets another point from back there. Goes over the block of cold water. Schwarrier unable to dig it out, cuts the lead to one. I'll tell you, David, you can see Sienna Fry out there calling for it. You know, just give me it, give me it, you know. Yeah. Because she, she could see where she, you know, where mm -hmm. she was standing and how she could set up. She's only a sophomore, too. That's the thing for OG. Great you know, you leadership. Got two yep. more years of this mm -hmm. Sienna Fry. So a chance to tie it here on this one, but that's going to be tough to defend, but it goes out of bounds. No touch at the net. Kanapke set Blazin game. And here we are again, tied up at 15 with Sienna Fry behind the serving line. You know, she's serving. We talked about her being left-handed at the kill line, at the spike line. Serving, that ball's doing some different things as yeah, well. Yeah, it's got a little rotation there, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Blazin game with a soft hit over the net. Mag with the bump set from the libero. Comes back over. Kanapke goes over on two. Going to push it deep is Wood. Here we go. Nice block there at the net by OG. That's a tough one right there if you're an OG fan, but a great hit by Kira Kanapke. Touched at the net and then falls helplessly. OG unable to get to it. And Coldwater's happy to get Sienna Fry out off of that serving line and look to attack themselves. Kira Kanapke behind the serving line for the Cavaliers. Mag digs it out. Bellman to number 21, Katie Coppin. Give her the kill. The big three kill-wise for OG, it's Fry, Kimmett, and Kaufman, and for Coldwater, Wendell, Blasengame, and Etzler, and what seems like a host of others for Coldwater, but the big three for both teams, they've shown up in full force in this match. And made some exciting volleyball so far. From the middle, Blasengame, Kanapke with the back set. OG just so tough to defend that. The OG defense thought it was going to go to the outside hitter, but Kanapke goes with the back set, and they get the kill and take the lead by one. Yeah, but you've got good vision by that young lady just to see the middle open up and go right for it. Mag digs out the serve. Nice hit by Baltimore. Coldwater recovers. Etzler with the hit. Nice block by OG at the net. And OG's going to get the point off the miss hit by Paige Ontrop. Tied at 17. You talked about the decision that the, the decisions that the centers are making. Though. I swear, I've seen a lot of outstanding centers this season. They've got more than two eyes. That's oh, all I can that's say. That's right. They do. They're seeing got a the couple ball. on their back. Yeah. Head. Yeah. Here we go. No need for more than two eyes right there. If you are Mia Kanapke, she says, I'll set Morgan Blasen game. She's right in front of me. She's been hitting the ball well all match. Go to what's got you here. And Blasen game with the kill. And a perfect set is what it is. I mean, you're just getting it up there high enough. And there's an ace right there by her. You know, you're getting those sets right up there high enough for them to come down, you know, where they don't have to hit straight on. They can come down with the swing. Yeah, Blazing game with the kill. Blazing game with the ace. She's sort of taking this third set into her own hands right now. Goes off the tape. Nicely dug by Bailey Krause. And there's a hit, but a better block. Kimmett with the hit. I think it was Wendell. Wendell with the, with the block, you're right. And Coach Miller's going to take her second timeout of the third set. We'll take a timeout with her. District, District 3 semifinal volleyball action on WOSN.
We're at Collada High School in what has been a most enjoyable district semifinal action between Ottawa Glendorf and Coldwater. We're in set number three. Coach Miller takes a timeout. She's down three on the Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Dar, what's she telling her squad? Well, I think that timeout was basically just to stem the tide a little bit, just cool off cold water a little bit. Tell your, you know, your OG girls to, you know, keep fighting, you know, in this set. And, you know, basically try to cool, you know, cool cold water down. It didn't work on that one right yeah, there. Yeah, trying to cool off Morgan Blasen game to be specific. She has been a big part in the last four points for cold water. Gets another ace right there. Here's her next serve. Puts it in the net. So, OG with the serve, down three, down 2-0 here in set number three. They have got to execute right now against this Coldwater Cavalier. Can't go one for one the rest of the way. There's the serve. We're going to go to Etzler, the Kanapke. Great hit by Madison Wendell, dug out by OG. They free ball it over, back to Kanapke. Wendell hits it again, Claudia Madden digs it out. I'll tell you, she's played a great Bellman, know, yeah, match. Bellman takes it over. Bellman, Mag, she goes ahead and sets it, and she had that decision, that's a libero, do I try and set it above my head or bump set it? For the first time in the match, she tried to go with the conventional set, and unfortunately, she was called for hitting it twice. Coldwater with the point in the serve. It's Rachel Schroyer, Bellman. Goes to Sienna Fry, and Sienna Fry, that's a great example of our Lee's famous recipe, chicken spike sponsor. Just what the doctor ordered if you're OG, but here again, they're down three, 22-19. They've got to put a run on, and Coach Etzler, knowing that that's what has to happen, she's going to take a timeout and make sure her squad's on the same page, Dar. Yeah, she certainly is. And again, she's, she's just trying to calm her players down as well. They know that they're on the cusp of winning this entire match, but, you know, you can't let Otto Glendorf off the hook, you know. So we got to calm down, guys. we got to just play our game, you know, continue to do what we're doing. We're up by three. You know, we've got this match in, in hand if we just do what we need to do. And that's basically all she's telling them, you know. A little bit of momentum run there for OG, but not enough really to be scary if you're cold water. But, you know, let's just cool it a little bit. Yeah, that's a great point, Dar. I think in the sense that don't let OG off the hook. She has a tremendous amount of respect for this squad that she's going against tonight. Probably the best 12 and 12 squad Absolutely. in the state of Ohio. And just telling her charges, hey, Let's stay locked in, let's stay focused, and let's look to finish this thing because we don't want to give them an opportunity to go to set number four. OG though, they're gonna try and do their best to do exactly that. Carly Crawfus with the serve, down three on the Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Crawfus with the serve to Schroyer, to Kanapke. She goes right side to Spencer Etzler and Addie Bellman does everything she can, but can't dig that one out. Coldwater extends the lead to four. Coldwater feeling it right now. You know, they're down they're two points away from winning this match. They'll come back Wednesday night if they get it done here, but Sienna Fry is going to try and have something to do with that or say about that, and she does get the kill. Schroyer dug it out, but it was up against the net. Kanapke could not do anything with it. Down three, OG, Caitlin Kimmett behind the service line. Now's a good time to get one of those aces. You're right, <laughs> yes. Comes close, but Blasingay digs it out. Window with the hit, but a better block by Katie Kaufman. Katie Kaufman. Yes, does a great job. Cuts the lead down to two. Let's see if OG can Go on a run here, Dar. There's the serve. Again, Schroyer. Wendell, it's going to be a free ball. See if OG can make money off of it. Going to go to Ella White. She hits it over, but Coldwater able to defend it. And then they find the corner. Kira Kanapke puts it in the deep left corner. 
Well, only the wood can catch it, and it's set point, match point for Coldwater. Madison Wendell with the serve. Got to stay aggressive if you're OG. And that one's deep. It was a good bump set spike by Katie Kaufman, but it goes long. And as a result, your final score, 25-21. Coldwater's going to take this match in three, 25-19, 25-21, and 25-21. An outstanding three-set match. And Coldwater's going to advance to the district championship game, which will be one Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. They're going to take on the winner of our second semifinal between St. Henry and Fort Recovery, the number three and number 11 ranked teams in Division Three in the state of Ohio. Before we go to some final stats, Dar, your thoughts on the match? Well, uh, Coldwater just played three sets and were just outstanding all the way around. But give a lot of credit to OG, too, because they fought hard. There was a lot of young players out there. You know, like I said, Sienna Fry is on the sophomore. She'll be back for two more years for OG. So they got a lot to work with, you know, coming next season. But, you know, they're a very dangerous 12-12 and 12 team, like you said, Dave. And, and, and Coldwater knew that, you know, coming into this thing. They may be 23-1, and one, but they knew what OG could do and what they've done in the past. But, you know, Coldwater had a good game plan. They've executed well. They did everything they could at the net, and that was the big thing. But their sets, all you know, in all three sets, you know, their setting at the net was a key for them because their big spikers were able to get up there high and just you know find areas, and they played that in line very well to get points. And you know, nothing OG could do. They you know they gave it all they had. They fought back a couple times, you know, but uh, they played a, a team that you know. Like I said, it was, you know, eight and one in the MAC, and 23, and, and now 24 and one going into the district final game. So, you know, give them credit and give OG for credit for, for hanging in there as much as they could. Yeah, OG battled all night long. Just a 23 and one Coldwater Cavalier team comes away with the victory. Some overall stats in that third set for Ottawa Glendorf. Sienna Fry had four kills. Um, and Addie Bellman had six assists. Overall, Ottawa Glendorf had 25 kills, four aces. You talked about that, Dar. They needed to get some more, quote unquote, free points with aces in this match. Unable to get a run going as far as uh, aces are concerned. And then 24 assists for Coach Nikki Etzler's Coldwater Cavaliers team, which advances now to Wednesday night's district final. They had in set number three, Spencer Etzler with four kills, and Kira Kanapke and Morgan Blasingame both had three. They had three aces in the third set, and then Mia Kanapke had 11 assists. Overall, Coldwater, 36 kills, 14 aces, and 34 assists. A complete team effort for Coldwater, and they had to have that or OG might have snuck up and bit him yep. in this match. Absolutely. So Coldwater advances to the district final against the winner of the next semifinal game, which we'll have right here on WOSN as well, between St. Henry and Fort Recovery. It's been a pleasure bringing this contest to you on WOSN. Thank you to Darn Evergall, my partner and Megan Sherrick, our camera person, and she'll take this back and edit it and make us sound really, really good, Dar. <laughs> She's we gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate everyone watching high school volleyball tournament style on WOSN. So long, everybody. <laughs>